Hello Inner Universe Community. Our topic for today is starting from the end. Let me first explain you the topic. The topic starting from the end means that what you have always wanted to achieve is already yours. So you are starting from the end result. If suppose I am writing a book, so I sit and visualize the cover of the book and how people are buying the book from the shop and what it will look like once I have completed the book, how it will feel like when I know that I have completed the book and it is selling. So that is one example or suppose you have pain somewhere. So you visualize and you act as if it is not there and after some time you know you are starting from the end you already start feeling and thinking as if you are cured and gradually the miracle is that actually it will be cured let me explain it a bit further you see you can manifest anything even heal your body because our physical bodies become sick due to energetic level at, at which we live once we start raising the vibes, the imagination of our spirit, what will happen is that when our spirit begins to vibrate at a higher energy level, then our body also tries to catch up to the energetic level and energetic conditions of the spirit. And this happens very quickly and rather permanently. Because uh, if you are trying to heal your body with medicines, it, will, it won't necessarily be a permanent healing. But when you heal your spirit, then what happens is once your body tries to raise its vibration to the level of the raised vibration of your spirit, that type of healing is always permanent. And by living in spirit, living in love, not fear, no, by living fearlessly, by... Uh, living in gratitude, by living with forgiveness, you can raise your vibrations of the spirit. Next is that you have to believe because you know that with God, nothing is impossible. So when even when you wake up in the morning, you have to believe that this is a wonderful day today and all my wishes are going to come true. That is the type of belief you have to have for all the desires that you have to manifest then you have to be fearless fear is not an attribute of god and so if you believe that you will get your desire your desire will manifest you are right and now it is all about your mind so if you believe in your mind you cannot do something then you are right you will not be able to do it because that is your inner belief so with inner belief you are able to create and manifest whatever you desire and when we are working from the end so your beliefs and your desire your fearlessness they have a great impact on how you are going to get your desire so as you proceed towards your dreams you have to work with total dedication concentration love and persistence so what will happen is when you dedicate to you when you are dedicated when you do your work with love your intuition increases and you get all the guidance through your intuition through messages from the universe and that is how you are able to do a great job you have to just be you don't have to do too much you have to be happy and feel happy do it with pleasure, a lot of happiness. You have to be in peace. So it is all about concentrating on being. You have, you have to be happiness. You have to be peace. You have to be love. So you should be so confident to say, I am love. I am peace. So feel. Feel as if your wish is fulfilled. You should be filled with unconditional love. It is about serving, about helping, uh, about being compassionate and kind and not about always what is written for, what is there for me. In fact, your question should be how can I serve, how can I make people happy. So, uh, in Dying to be Me, this is a book by Anita Murjani, she has given her own 
her own first hand experience of how she left uh, that is a near death experience how she left her body and from and she felt a sort of inner peace there was no judgment and there was an un, a feeling of unconditional love and she felt high in spirits and really nice and pure love and then she knew that once i enter my body i i am sure that my body will be healed because that is the vibration my body is going to raise itself to and that is what happened also uh, she was healed within a month from the disease that she was suffering all the pain was gone everything was gone and after that she wrote this book dying to be me you have to feel love for everybody because you know now that we are all connected we are not separate everybody is there is nothing like separate everybody is connected you have to also feel love for the activity that you are indulging in that you have undertaken to do and treat things that don't exist as if they exist and you will make them your reality so again we are working from the end to the starting point so you end is you have already manifested and starting is when you are desiring so instead of from your desire to manifestation we are working from actually manifesting and coming back to our desire which is actually fulfilled which will be fulfilled soon formal education is about logic so if you think this by logic actually it doesn't sound logical at all because it is like you are uh, tell you are uh, lying to yourself but it actually works because what happens is when you feel how do you feel once you have manifested your desire you will feel elated and that feeling is recorded in your subconscious mind and when you sleep the universal mind the higher consciousness it connects with your subconscious mind and sees what is fed into this hard drive and when it sees that oh your dreams are manifested it already starts working on the same lines and actually your dreams are manifested so this is how it works uh, uh, we'll explain it in our next video so you attract what you are so now when you are feeling that you have already manifested your desire your your feeling your behavior everything will change because this is your world that you have created and you have to believe in this world and believe in your feelings and believe in you when you believe in yourself then what you are believing in becomes a reality so you attract what you are what you want you have to assume it irrespective of outside circumstances irrespective of outside sensations and because it is your own world and once you start experiencing it in your own world you will actually manifest it and experience it in the real world real world means in your life here is a nice quotation from neville sensation precedes manifestation so sensation means how you are feeling your belief so that comes before and after that comes manifestation sensation precedes manifestation and is the foundation upon which all manifestation rests so now you know that a change of feeling is a change in your destiny Have a nice day. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.